this is the design of the uh, of the shoe that I'm working on. This one is these are all hard pieces except for here. This is actually going to be flexible. So the idea is that the toes will be on these um, there will be a, a groove in there and the toe will slide along here so that my toes can scrunch. See this is the previous design and uh, I would and I needed to make this design to see how it would feel. I thought maybe these would be flexible, but uh, the amount of, I tried a few different designs to make it flexible and that material doesn't really do flexible the way that I need it to be flexible. I need it to be um, a bit more logarithmic, not so like linear in the flexibility so that it's constantly tensioning back. It needs to be, you know, uh, you know very stretchy in the beginning and with more tension towards the end and these don't do that so this is uh, what it's looking like so this whole four foot area let me just put that side by side see this whole four foot area shrinks this puts the ball of my foot right there lined up with that toe there will be a hard piece that will go across here as opposed to the um, the softer more foldable thing that I had going here this I needed this to be able to get to this but um, yeah this was I never even actually I think I wore it outside while I was in Mississippi once just to see how it fit and it just hurt in like 10 15 different places this is going to be hard so each piece will basically attach to a part of my foot and have individual motion including the heel which will be uh, which will kind of uh, have a joint that will be in between where my ankle is and this little bone here it'll just kind of slip right in there and this will be a hard piece that will fit over the top so that'll rotate that'll rotate um, that way so that'll rotate this will fold up and down and be one singular piece um, and as you can see here where that joint is and uh, that so together my foot will have full biomechanical uh, freedom while um, being able to be printed in an FDM printer so um, this is the first part now I'm going to print the toes and then we'll, we'll see how that plays out making progress now this is uh, the main body of the foot system um, you can see here that it's hinged this is not connected yet so this is hinged there this puts it right at below the ankle I determined that if I put it um, on the ankle that's just going to be no end of scratchy readjustment uh, over time. So this is below the ankle and uh, it's done with the Talman nylon. So this should be strong enough to test soon, hopefully today. All right, so this is uh, here. I'm playing around with the, with how the ankle brace is going to attach to the uh, design. You can see right now it's just a piece of, you know, it's just a piece. But what I do is I print that piece because it doesn't take a lot of material. And then I can come here and uh, I can adjust it. You know, I can say, okay, let's see, let's put this here. I can see that there's a lot of space um, on this part here and that this is going to cut because that's going to that's where that that tendon is so now I'll redesign this to take those things into account alright so 
there it is. It is no longer merely in the computer. It is here in real life. The strap keeps a tensioning on here. So this stays tensioned towards the front. So what I'm going to print out next is um, a, a flexible toe ring system that'll kind of loop over each of these and attach here. So what that's going to do is that between the tensioning there and the tensioning there, it'll squeeze the foot in while my foot, it's, the size of my foot will, will push it out. So there'll be this constant tension. And then uh, I'll reprint these, but with a little clasping system so that they are always in this relationship with each other there. Right now, this is my favorite part, and it's kind of even accidental. So, you can see now, this is how it's supposed to fit. The rubber band is there for right now to kind of give me an idea of what type of mechanism I need to design. But you can see, it's very, you know, it, it's very, I see it kind of popped off there. Okay, so I now have a heel. This is the first one I've ever printed. So that's uh, the outer sole, and this is the inner sole. It's a little bit, um, a little bit wide, so that it'll stay in there theoretically. Uh, I printed it uh, kind of. It's a bit soft, so that uh, you can squeeze around there and add some cushioning. So I'm going to put that in here real quick. Okay, so that's how that fits in there. It fits on there. There's a plug you can see there that goes into there, and then over on this side, you can see those three, those three points there. That's coming in from the bottom. So they sandwich, they sandwich that in between those two points to be able to create a heel. I don't know how well this is going to work yet. I'll have to walk on it. This is the first heel I've ever designed, but uh, the idea was expressed properly. These are pushed through, so the top has some pushing in this way, and then the bottom has some pushing in. Let's focus that real quick. You know, here and there, and then these three points here. Let's put it on real quick. So the way it works is that this part is kind of latches the heel into the design so it pulls the it pulls the heel in this direction so it doesn't really um it doesn't slip around a lot right so this goes in here that keeps this in place and i'm very into this uh snap together thing and this sits on the Achilles tendon. 
So what that does is keep that in place. It's um, I'm going to have to play with it, or I'm going to have to wait till it loosens up a little bit. It's a little bit stiff. It grabs the Achilles tendon a little too well, but it is surprisingly comfortable considering that I only came up with the idea a couple of days ago. time I'll just have it on when I need to report on something crucial or significant just a normal sidewalk the that's a dog I do think I could make the toe area a little bit The Achilles uh, brace is actually much more comfortable than it was earlier. I think maybe earlier it was still very new, so it still had a bit of a roughness to it that wasn't very comfortable against my skin, but now that there's a bit of a stride and I'm letting my foot stretch out a little bit, it's a lot more comfortable. Then broke off. Now this will, so we made it. This is an old railroad track area here in Highland Park. This is very uneven surface here. And as you know, a lot of the pictures, the bottom of my, of this shoe is very not completely covered. adventure today than I had intended to give these things so you know but I figure we're on a roll let's just roll with it figure if it can make it over this area it can make it anywhere okay I'm limping a little bit because I'm trying not to because my foot is actually open to the ground and so I'm not getting as many sharp rocks into my foot as I would expect. I think because I can stand on my tiptoes very easily. Okay, we're in the grass now. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I can walk mostly normal now. My foot is very open to the ground, which is very nice. Not quite like walking barefoot, but pretty close. Okay, there we go. We're out of the we're out of the rocks now. You can see it's a very nice like a little nature trail down through here. Uh-oh, okay. Like a little nature trail back here. And we're back. Okay, so we're back now and uh we're looking at the shoe, I mean, or the prosthesis or orthotic or exo foot or whatever the fuck I call it. Uh, 
these mash down a little bit harder so these that's sticking up a little bit that's not a problem I just noticed it when it did it uh, this worked really well that's the the uh, Achilles tendon thingy and even after walking on rocks nylon does an extremely good job of resisting breakage and puncture which is extremely good um, with the addendum that uh, you should print extremely hot you know so I printed everything at 285 which is way above what uh, Talman uh, bridge is is supposed to be printed at but I wanted to completely negate the entire concept of um, delamination and so it's rock solid and it still only got a 10% fill so even with the stresses of carry of having a human stepping on it uh, for what was probably about a mile it, all the way around it held up extremely well so that's the first test run and it bodes well for this being a daily purpose um, shoe replacement.